How to start monetizing your first app with IronSource. In this video, you'll learn how to start working with IronSource so you can monetize your app and earn revenue from your users. Let's get started. From the ironsource.com homepage, click the sign up button and complete the form to sign up for an IronSource account. When you click submit, a confirmation email will be sent to you. Head to your inbox and click on the link inside the email to confirm your email address and access the IronSource platform. Inside the dashboard, you'll add your first app to your account. If your app is live in the App Store or Google Play, select Mobile App and add the direct URL for your app. Then click on Import App Info. Your app's name and category should appear automatically. If any field is missing information, simply fill it in manually. If your app is not live in the App Store or Google Play, that's okay. You can use a temporary app name and update this information later. Now indicate if your app is meant for a young audience by clicking the box under COPPA and decide how you'd like to comply with CCPA. You can learn more about COPPA and CCPA regulations by reading the dedicated articles in the Knowledge Center. When you're done, click the Add App button. Now let's select the types of ad units you want to display inside your app. You can choose rewarded videos, interstitials, an offer wall, banner ads, or all four ad units. Click the test button under each ad unit you want to use, then click done. Great! Your app information is now saved along with your ad unit selections. Before any ads can show on your app, you'll need to download and integrate the IronSource SDK. To take care of the integration now, click the download SDK button here. Technical documentation for each operating system is available in the IronSource Knowledge Center. Now let's head back to the Add Units and Placements page. This is where you'll manage the Add Unit activities for the IronSource network. We recommend you start by activating Test Mode. Simply slide the toggle from Test Mode Inactive and click the Continue button in the Test Ad Campaigns pop-up. While your app is in Test Mode, you'll receive test campaigns and completion notifications, but you won't generate any revenue. However, before you can go live with IronSource network ads, you'll need to provide some important information. Click on Provide More Details. In the pop-up, fill in the contact information for the person in charge of finance operations at your company, as well as your company name, location of your corporate bank account, and your company's address. If you don't have a registered company, that's okay. You can use your personal banking information. Now carefully read the IronSource Mobile SDK Publisher Online Terms and Conditions. Click the box if you agree to the terms and conditions, and then click the Sign and Continue button. You'll be prompted to enter your password before you select how you'd like to receive your payouts. Select your preferred payment method, direct deposit into your bank account, wire transfer, or via PayPal. Provide your account information and click Done. You can skip this step for now by clicking the Remind Me Later button, but keep in mind that you'll need to provide your payment details before you can receive any payouts from IronSource. Back on the Add Units and Placements page, you'll notice a new message. In order to go live, contact us. Click the Contact Us link and fill in the contact form. Complete the mandatory fields, then click on Submit. An IronSource representative will get in touch with you by email to finalize your account setup and enable your ad units to go live. And that's it! Now you're ready to start monetizing your app with IronSource. To learn how to configure and activate additional networks so you can start bidding on level play, head to the Knowledge Center or reach out to your account manager.